Special thanks to Patreon support Transfighter 8 for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War 2 bathtub build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the French battleship Dunkirk. Dunkirk was the lead ship of the Dunkirk class of battleships built for the French Navy in the 1930s. The class also included Strasbourg. The two ships were the first capital ships to be built by the French Navy after World War I. The planned Normandy and Lyon classes had been cancelled at the outbreak of war and budgetary problems prevented the French Navy from building new battleships in the decade after the war. Dunkirk was laid down in December of 1932 and launched October 1935 and completed in May 1937. She was armed with a battery of eight 330mm Model 50 1931 guns arranged in two quadruple gun turrets and had a top speed of 29.5 knots. Dunkirk and Strasbourg formed the French Navy's first division of the line prior to the Second World War. The two ships searched for German commerce raiders in the early months of the war, and Dunkirk also participated in convoy escort duties. The ship was badly damaged during the battle attack at Mers el Kabar after the armistice that ended the first phase of France's participation in World War II, but she was refloated and partially repaired to return to uh, Toulon for comprehensive repairs. Dunkirk was scuttled in November 1942 to prevent her capture by the Germans and subsequently seized and partially scrapped by the Italians and later the Germans. Her wreck remained in Toulon until she was stricken in 1955 and scrapped three years later. So yeah, a uh, very uh, cool ship. Um, very interesting in the set of the turrets. Now, most traditional battleships either have about three or four turrets, uh, depending on obviously the size of the guns. Most of the time about three guns. Uh, or three turrets. This one only has two, but in those two turrets it has a total of eight guns between the two turrets. So two quad turrets is pretty crazy. Um, you look at pictures of it, it's really unique, really weird. Kind of reminds me of, I guess you can say, I believe the King George V class had uh, turrets like this, or I think it had one on the back and one on the front. Stuff like that. But yeah, really interesting uh, ship and a fun build for sure. I uh, had some fun building it. The turrets are, were a little tricky, they didn't come out exactly how I wanted them, but you know, that's how it is sometimes with doing these battles at such a small scale, you, you kind of don't get perfect a lot of the time, but I do think the turrets came up pretty decent for what we we're trying to go for, and um, I think that the ship is still fairly recognizable. Now, uh, before we go ahead and take a look at the ship, I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Trench Fighter 8 for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys are do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go ahead and put a small amount to the channel every month and earn a core request of your choosing, depending on what tier you decide to subscribe to. It uh, helps uh, basically support my work and all that, and it's much appreciated, and you earn a VIA core request every month uh, that you are a patron. So definitely feel free to check that out, and again, the link will be down in the description. It's always in the description of my videos. Anyways, uh, going ahead and uh, diving on into it. This is actually our first ever French uh, BAFTA build we've ever done. Um, actually, scratch that. First World War II one. We did do the Charles de Gaulle um, aircraft carrier. So, yeah, this is actually our first ever World War II uh, French ship, which is really cool and fun to finally add them to our uh, arsenal. Uh, but a really nice looking battleship for sure. Now, starting off with, we have obviously the bow of the ship. Again, nothing too fancy here. You got all your anchor, anchor assembly and all that stuff. And uh, that's pretty much the main uh, gist of this area right here. Uh, coming back, we have turret number one here. So as you can see, it's got the quad batteries. Again, it's not perfect, mainly due to the fact that we had to kind of set the turret into the hole or of the here a little bit uh, by a half slab. And that's just mainly due to the constraints of what we're trying to work with here. And so the it looks a little funky, but you know, it is kind of what it is. Um, it doesn't look that bad and it kind of grows on you. But uh, you, you know, you can still tell what we got going on there. Going back here, we have turret number two. Obviously, it looks a lot better. Um, sitting at a nice level here, and that's pretty much turret number two there. Again, pretty much the same as the front there, um, except for it is actually at the you know a nice solid level. Going back here, we have the conning tower here. So again, you got your uh, different levels to it, all your different um, little fighting positions and stuff like that, uh, the bridge and all that. So. Again, uh, pretty standard on most battleships. You got your big conning tower. Go back, we have all of our different lifeboats, um, some of the second uh, auxiliary guns, and also uh, more AA gun positions, spotlights, uh, again, uh, lifeboats and all that. And we also have the funnel here looking on the back. Uh, again, working our way back, we have the second mast here. Um, so 
again, nothing too crazy about it, just the, um, their mass on the ship here. Going back, we have a good solid set of batteries back here, and these were quad turrets. Um, they were basically, there were three quadruple mounted turrets, um, all smaller in size guns, basically secondary type guns looking on the back here. Again, really interesting design. I'm not too certain I like the design of it or fully agree with it, but I do think um, it's definitely very unique. So we got basically three quad guns in the back here, which uh, definitely is quite a bit there. And um, we do have a little bit of a difference here in the side. So over here on the left side, we do have a crane here for the seaplane um, to be loaded onto. I don't have a seaplane mount on the back of this ship here, but um, it does look pretty cool nonetheless. And um, all the detail here on the bottom too, you have your uh, props and rudder and all that fun stuff for the hull and all that. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the overview of the French battleship Dunkirk. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer. We have layer number one for the build. Now, a few things to go over real quick is the first few layers of this ship will be built half on camera, half off. What this means is about half the ship, or exactly half the ship, is going to be already built, and we're just going to build the other side over, so it kind of uh, makes it a little bit easier, since basically these first few layers, everything's symmetrical on both sides, so it just kind of speeds up the tutorial a little bit and saves me the uh, time of going over something that's pretty much exactly the same. So uh, that's kind of what we're doing here. Um, also, if you do want to build the ship in the water, which most of you guys are probably doing, you will want to make sure that you build this um, layer here exactly one block underneath the surface. You can see this blue wool here representing the surface level of the water, and you can see that we are basically one block underneath that. So just make sure that, that is correct. It's positioned properly in the water. If you have it too low or too high, it's going to sit really weird and it's not going to look right. So very important that you make sure that's correct. Anyways, once we have that all set up and we're good to go, we can go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with placing down a brick upside down stair. We're then going to go ahead and then place down a long row of red concrete, which in total is going to be 36 blocks long. So from this brick upside down stair, going all the way back, we have 36 uh, red concrete blocks. We're then going to place down a brick top slab, skip a space, a brick upside down stair, and then a red uh, concrete block on the back of that upside down stair. So it should look something like that there on the back. And that right there is going to be the center line of the ship, where everything that we do now over here on the left side will be done is the same thing that's over on the right side. So starting off with, we're going to go to the front of our ship, the bow, and we're going to go to our one, two, three, and our fourth red concrete block back. We're going to place down a brick top slab, followed by a brick upside down stair coming off of it. We then want to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Uh, red concrete blocks back. I'm going to go and double check my count. Doesn't hurt. Make sure everything's good. And yep, 28 red concrete blocks. We're then going to place down a brick upside down stair like this, followed by a second brick upside down stair, and then a brick top slab just like that after it. Then come off the brick top slab, we're going to place down an end rod, and then a birch wood slab like that. If you are on a version of Minecraft that does not allow you to place down an end rod in the water, or um, if you are building this uh, you know, out of the water, this doesn't really apply, you can use the end rods. But in water, uh, you can go and use a fence gate, which are one you think looks best. You can use birch wood fence gates. I would recommend probably dark oak wood, I think would look the best in this situation. But again, it's kind of up to you guys on what you guys want to do here. But you will need to basically switch this out if you are putting this in the water um, instead of using the end rods. Anyways, for our next row, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the bow of our ship. We're going to go to this, out to the side here. We're going to count back one, two, three, and back to our fourth red concrete block. We're going to place down a brick top slab. From that, we're going to place down two brick upside down stairs across, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen red concrete blocks back. Two brick upside down stairs and a brick top slab like so. And we're going to go ahead and place down one and two uh, end rods back or fence gates, whatever you're using, and then a birchwood slab like that on the end there. And those are, there will be your propeller shafts and basically your uh, you know, propellers there. After that's done, uh, we want to go and then go to the side here. We're going to go to our fourth and fifth red concrete blocks. We're going to place down two acacia wood trap doors like that to the side. And then one and two brick, ups, or brick top slabs. And then you row four of brick ups downstairs. So one, two, three, four. And then one, two brick top slabs and one, two acacia wood trap doors like we did before. And that right there is going to pretty much wrap up what we have to do here for the first layer. Here you will take from up above, you'll take what we do over here on the left side, flip it over to the right side, and you'll have this here for the base of the whole of the ship. 
Anyways, that's it for what we have for layer number uh, one. With that, let's move into our next layer, layer number two. Alright guys, going ahead and getting started, we're going to be moving on to our next layer, layer number two. For layer two to start off with, we're going to place down a red concrete block on top of this brick up downstairs. And this red, red concrete is going to go all the way back here ending on top of this red concrete block right here. So to go ahead and give you guys a count of how big or how long this row is going to be, this is going to be a nice row of 41 going all the way to the back. And then at the end, we're going to go ahead and place down a brick top slab. Once that's done, going ahead and coming off the side of the red concrete block, we're going to place down a acacia wood trap door like this, followed by a brick top slab, and then a brick up down stair. We're then going to take our red concrete, we're going to go forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34 uh, red concrete blocks, followed by a brick up down stair, like so. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to the fifth, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and our fifth red concrete block back, we're going to place down a brick up down stair like that, coming off the side of that block, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 red concrete blocks back. We're going to go then place down a brick up down stair, brick up down corner stair, and a brick top side like that to go and finish that off. Now with that out of the way, uh, we're going to go and go to the sides here on the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, our fifth and sixth red concrete blocks here back from the front. We're going to place down two brick walls. We're going to then take our red concrete and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then one and two brick walls like that to go and finish it off. And once you have that all complete there, that is going to pretty much wrap up what we have here for this layer. Again, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, I did fill this in. You don't really need to. I did fill this in, though, just to kind of close off the inside here if you're placing in water, especially just to get rid of the water. Um, but you really don't need to leave the fill in the inside completely if you don't want to. Um, it may save you some uh, resources if you're building this in survival or something like that. But uh, just a note there, I just kind of like to fill in my stuff just to keep it nice and consistent. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, also, one thing to mention now is that the tops of these red blocks should be sticking out of the water. So just for example here, our water should be at this level right here. And you should be able to see the top of this layer here clearly above the water. So again, just a good way to double check and make sure that we are positioned correctly in the water uh, for building it. Anyways, that right there is going to finish layer number two. With that, let's move into layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we'll be moving into layer number three. For layer 3 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go and place down a stone block right on top of this uh, red concrete block like that. And we want to go and place down this row of stone blocks going all the way back here to this brick top side on the end here and our stone up downstairs like that. After that's done, coming off the side here of this stone block, we're going to place down a andesite wall and we're going to go forward from the andesite wall 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38 red concrete blocks, or sorry, stone uh, blocks forward, and then one and two andesite walls. So again, along the side here, we have a long row of 38 stone blocks like that along the side there. Going back up to the front here, we're going to go to our third and fourth stone blocks from the front. We're going to place down two stone walls to the side here. We then want to follow that up by placing down a stone up down stair. From this, we're going to go and then take our stone blocks. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Stone blocks back and then two andesite walls like that to go and finish off here on the back. And again, going uh, to the side here, we're going to go on top of this brick wall right here. We're going to place down an inside wall and then one forward. And we're going to go ahead and go to this brick wall. And again, one up and this time one back like that. So we get something that looks like that on the side here. In the space in between these inside walls, we're going to go and take our stone blocks and just go ahead and fill in the space like that across in between those inside walls. After that's done, uh, we're going to go and then take some dark oak wood buttons and along all these stone blocks here along the side of the ship, we're going to go and place down dark oak wood buttons on the side here. And this is basically representative of the many portholes that the ship still had present on it um, at uh, basically the point that this, or the, you know, basically the, the era that the ship was in. So uh, still had a lot of portholes on the side of the ship, so we still have those included. And uh, once you have that done and completed to both sides, that will pretty much complete layer number three for the build. From here on, we're going to be going ahead and now moving into basically doing every layer all together. As once we have 
this all done, we start to kind of get into the more detailed stuff and asymmetrical stuff. So uh, that's what we're going to go and get into next. Anyways, let's move into our next layer, layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a stone block on top of this one, followed by a stone up down stair, coming off of it, going toward the front here. We then want to go to both sides of this stone uh, up down stair and place down a skeleton skull to both sides, and then a andesite wall coming off both sides of the stone block. From that, we're going to go ahead and place down an air stone block back, andesite wall to both sides, and then coming off the side of the andesite wall, we're going to place down a nine frame, and then a crossbow. <clears throat> like this in the item frame facing downwards so we're going to rotate it around like that so it faces downwards to create the anchor after that's done we're going to then take our stone blocks we're going to place down a row of three across and on this row of three on both sides we're going to have a dark oak wood button we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone brick block we're going to place down a stone brick block here in the middle followed by a stone block to both sides and then a dark oak wood button again on both block sides like that we're going to then place down a stone brick slab here in the middle, followed by a stone slab, which is going to be on both sides of this stone brick slab, and then also a skeleton skull to both sides. We then want to place down a skeleton skull at a very slight, about 30 degree angle here, on top of these andesite walls. So, just like that. And we're going to then place down a stone brick slab here to both sides, and a stone slab there in the middle. After that's done, we're going to grab ourselves dragon heads, and we're going to place down a dragon head on top of these two stone blocks. And we want to make sure that the dragon heads are facing forward. In the space in between the dragon heads, we're going to place down a stone stair like so, and then a stone slab out to both sides. From this, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone stair facing the opposite direction here, come off those two stone slabs. And in the middle space here, going back from the stone stair, we're going to place down two uh, of the two of the oak wood slabs. Also, uh, we're going to go ahead and replace these two blocks in the deck here with oak wood planks as well. So just like that. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves some fence gates. We're going to place down a birch wood fence gate here and have it open up toward the front on both sides and also a dark oak wood fence gate. Uh, actually, sorry, opened up toward the rear. So we're going to have these opened up toward the rear just like that. To the sides here, we're going to place down one and two stone slabs coming off these stone stairs, so one, two. In the middle space here, we're just going to place down a row three of stone blocks to, uh, for right now. And then we're going to place down a second row three of stone blocks across, followed by a stone stair to both ends of that row of three. We then want to place down another stone block here in the middle. And we're going to then place down an andesite wall to both sides like this, followed by a stone slab like that coming off those andesite walls. When that's done, we're going to then take our oak wood slabs. We're going to place down a row of three across, followed by a stone slab to both sides like this, and then the east skeleton skull at a very slight angle, like that on both sides. After that, we're going to place down another skeleton skull to both sides like so, and one and two oak wood planks over, one and two oak wood planks over, and then a stone block here in the very middle. Now, once that's done, we're going to place down another stone block back, followed by an andesite wall to both sides. An oak wood plank coming off these two andesite walls, and then a stone slab to both ends. Our next row here, we're going to place down a row of three of stone blocks across, followed by an andesite wall to both sides, and then a stone slab like that on the further sides. After that's done, we're going to take our oak wood planks, we're going to place down a row of five across like this, and then an andesite wall again to both sides. After that, we're going to go ahead and take our stone blocks. We're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 stone blocks back. And same thing over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stone blocks back. We then want to go ahead and take our uh, oak wood. And we can go ahead and probably grab ourselves some oak wood planks here just to make it a little bit quicker. We're going to fill in the space here entirely with oak wood planks to create the deck here of the ship. So. Again, just take your oak wood and fill this area in completely. So just like this. And we're going to also go to these inside walls. We're going to stack these inside walls up one more row up. We're going to place down another row of five of oak wood planks across. And then when we get to this point, a stone block on both sides and then a row of three of oak wood planks across the middle there. After that's done, uh, taking our stone blocks over here on the right side of the ship and the right side only, we're going to go, ahead and go back one, two, three, four, and five. 
uh, stone blocks followed by one, two, three, four, five dark oak wood buttons. And also uh, on these stone blocks here, we're going to place down our stone or dark oak wood buttons as well for those uh, portholes. However, on the other side of the ship, we do have something a little bit different. Um, so for this, we're going to be going ahead and placing down one, two, three blocks back. And again, our dark oak wood buttons here on the side of these stone blocks. But what's different here is we're actually going to go ahead and place down a stone stair like this and then a stone slab going down from it. So something a little bit different. So make sure you uh, are tracking. There's a difference here on both sides. But anyways, after this slab, we're going to go ahead and go one more slab back. And we also want to go ahead and go a slab back from this st stone block here. In the middle space here, we're going to place down a row of three of uh, oak wood planks followed by a second row and a third row across just like that. Now when we get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone stair over here on what will be the right or the left side of the ship, so this side over here, so a stone stair like that. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone, or sorry, an anvil coming off the stone stair. And then we're just going to go ahead and place down a oak wood half slab coming off the um, anvil like so. On uh, this side, however, we're going to place down an oak wood plank, a stone block, and then a oak wood plank like that and in the middle space here we're just going to place down one two three stone blocks like so with that out of the way uh we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three of oak wood slabs followed by a second row of three we're going to go ahead and then take our skeleton skulls and place down a skeleton skull like this on the side and a one at a slight angle like this same thing over here as well just like that after that's complete we want to go ahead and then place down a stone brick stair in the middle here like so followed by a stone slab to both sides. Going back from this, we're going to place down a narrow stone block, followed by a uh, stone brick stair to both sides, and a narrow stone brick stair to off this stone block like that. And then just a stone slab like that to both sides. After that, uh, we want to go and then place down a oak wood plank here in the middle, followed by a skeleton skull here at a very slight angle on top of these two andesite walls. So just like that. And then on the very back here, we're just going to place down an andesite wall that goes up like so. And a wither skeleton skull coming off the andesite wall. Just like that. And with that all complete, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number four for the build. It kind of gets us a good start and a good basis established for the ship. Uh, you start to see the deck details and the shaping that we're going to be doing. But this is what it should look like from up above for this layer. Anyways, that is going to do it for layer number four with that let's move into layer number five moving into our next layer we'll be moving into layer number five for layer five to go ahead and get started with here we're going to place down an end rod on top of this stone upside down stair and then a lever on top of the stone block facing forward like so after that we're going to go, ahead and go to this stone block here place down a redstone repeater with our notches out to the sides and then we're going to go ahead and wrap that wrap uh some uh, redstone dust around like that for the anchor chains after that, we're going to be going ahead and going back to our first turret here. We're going to uh, spice it up a little bit by placing down a row of three of iron trap doors and then a row of three of stone slabs and then a stone slab here in the middle. After which, we're going to go and then place down a skeleton skull here in the corners, just like that. We then want to go and place down a skeleton skull on top of these two uh, stairs like this. And we're going to place down end rods coming off the skeleton skulls facing forward like that and iron trap doors also coming off the sides here of these skeleton skulls so just like that and that's going to create your uh first turret turret number one moving into turret number two it's a little bit of a different design here but we'll be going ahead and picking stone stairs and we're going to place any row three across this space just like that now once that's all complete there we're going to go ahead and grab our dark oak fence gates and we're going to go to the stairs to both sides place down two dark oak fence gates open them up toward the um basically toward the, st the stairs, or basically toward the, uh, yeah, toward the stairs. And then we're going to place down birchwood fence gates coming off those, and also have them open up toward the dark oak wood fence gates. And in the very middle space here, we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone comparator and place down a redstone comparator like that on that block. After that, we're going to take our stone blocks, we're going to place down a row of three across, followed by a skeleton skull on both sides here, and an end rod come off the skeleton skulls facing forward. We then want to place down another stone block here going back from the center. And we're going to then place down an anisite wall to both sides of that stone block. And we're going to place down an iron trap door come off the stone or the anisite walls. Just like that on both sides there uh, for turret number two. Now with that out of the way, uh, we want to go ahead and continue on by placing down a stone block. One space back from the middle block here. And we're going to place down a lever coming off of it facing forward or facing up or 
flicked upwards and also a lever to those two sides of the blocks. We then also want to place down a quartz stair to both sides and a birchwood sign here on the sides here of these quartz stairs. From that, uh, we're going to then place down a quartz slab going back to the stair at an angle like so. And we're going to go ahead and also place down a quartz stair like this to both sides and a quartz slab going back from the stair. Also, like we did before, coming off the side here of this quartz stair, we're going to be placing down a birchwood trap door to both sides. So it should look something like this here for the front so far. We're going to go and then take our stone blocks. We're going to place down a stone block here in the middle. And we want to go and then place down a block that goes out to both sides like that. We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of five of stone blocks. Going all the way across here. And then from that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, second row of five also of stone blocks going across. Now when we get to this point, uh, we are going to be going ahead and placing down a additional uh, three rows of five of stone blocks. So we have one, two, and three. So in total we should have five rows of five here of the stone blocks. I think that's actually the first time I've ever had a rain uh, when I was actually recording most of the time. the uh, I set the timer so far in advance I never actually see it right on anywhere worlds. But uh, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Anyways, continuing on. Uh, a little sidetrack there. Uh, but to start off with, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a stone brick block that is going to go ahead and go in this space right here to both sides. And it's going to be one of the secondary turrets. We're going to go ahead and also place down a dark oak defense gate coming off the stone brick block facing toward the front. On the side of the block, we can go ahead and place down a dark oak wood sign on both sides here. And we're going to go ahead and also place down a skeleton skull coming off the back of the stone brick block. After that, we're going to then take our quartz slabs and place down one and two quartz slabs back. And we're going to then place down a lever coming off this stone block facing downwards like so with a row of three of stone blocks across the middle. We're going to then place down an additional th three more rows of three of stone blocks going across. So we should have four rows of three here. And we want to go ahead and take a redstone repeater and on top of this uh, oak wood block located right here. So on top of this oak wood uh, plank here we're going to place down a redstone repeater with the notches all the way to the side here. Same thing over here. And we can go ahead and just take our dark oak buttons and place them down on the sides of these two stone blocks that we can. After that uh, we're going to place down a stone block here in the middle followed by a andesite wall to both sides and we're going to go ahead and also place down a second stone block going back and again an andesite wall to both sides. From this, we're going to take our stone blocks, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five stone blocks going toward the back. And on the very last stone block here, we're going to place down a ladder like so. After that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and take our uh, stone full blocks, or stone brick full blocks, we're going to place down one and two stone brick full blocks, one and two. And then coming off of these stone brick full blocks toward the back, we're going to place down a row of two a dark wood fence gates and have them opened up toward those stone brick blocks. Also, on the other side here, or basically going back from them, we're going to place down a skeleton school here on both sides, like so. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then focus our attention to our catapult here. For our catapult, we're going to place down a daylight sen sensor on top of this stone block, followed by one and two daylight sensors going forward. We're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak grid fence gate in this space right here. And we're going to go ahead and also place down a dark oak wood sign on the side here of these two or on the side of the fence gate. And then come out the fence gate, we're just going to place down a daylight detector like that to go and finish it off toward the back there. Uh, one of the last things to do is on the back here, on top of this inset wall, we're going to place down an end rod that goes up, and then a second one that goes up at an angle like that, just so we don't have to worry about it later. And also on the front here, we can place down a iron bar on top of this end rod like that. Again, just so we don't have to worry about it in the next layer. And a few final things here uh, to kind of add a little bit more uh, spice to the build. We're going to place down a lever here on top of the stone block. We want to make sure that the lever is facing toward the outside, so like that. And also on top of these stone blocks here, we're going to place down a uh, oak wood pressure plate like that, just to kind of keep it more kind of consistent deck color. And also on top of all of these oak wood full blocks here. Basically where we have oak wood full blocks and we can put a uh, pressure plate, go ahead and do so keep that nice kind of oak wood colored deck. Uh, not much we can do about some spots, but uh, it definitely helps a little bit in terms of the overall appearance. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up what we have for layer number five for the build. With that, let's move into our next layer, layer number six. I guess moving into our next layer, we'll be moving into layer number five. 
All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we'll be moving into layer number six. For layer six, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a andesite wall on top of this uh, lever right up here. And then coming off of all three sides here of this andesite wall, we're going to place down a item frame. We're going to go ahead and flip the bed here so that the pillow is facing downwards on all sides. And we're going to go ahead and then take a dark roof and sign and place it down on the sides of, or on these two sides of this andesite wall. After that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a red star repeater on top of this stone block with the notches out, flipped out to the sides. On top of this stone block in the center, we're going to place a nice stone button. And on top of these two iron trap doors, we're going to crouch and place down two uh, stone buttons just like that. Go ahead and go back from this, we're going to place down a narrow stone block here in the middle. And to both sides, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a upside down stone stair and a side wall to both sides of the stone stair. And from this, we're going to go ahead and place down another stone block here in the middle. And one and two inner side walls, one and two out to both sides. And also coming off this inner side wall here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull like so. After that, uh, we want to go and then take our uh, quartz stairs, or actually we're going to go and take a iron trapdoor. We're going to place down an iron trapdoor, turn off the center stone block. And then we're going to go and follow this up and place down a quartz stair like this to both sides. And coming off the back of the quartz stair, an air quartz stair. And then uh, to the side of these quartz stairs, we're going to place down one and two quartz slabs on both sides like that. We then want to place down a quartz stair here, one coming off the back of it. And same thing over here, quartz stair, and one coming off the back of it. On this quartz stair, we're going to place down a birchwood uh, sign, just like that, again on both sides. And on top of the stone brick blocks here, we're going to go ahead and place down a daylight, or not a daylight detector, but a redstone comparator like that to both sides. After that, uh, we want to go and then place down a stone block here in the middle, followed by a second one back like that. And that's all we have for that. Uh, coming off this stone block here, we're going to place down an anisite wall to both sides, and we actually do want to place down a third stone block back, so row three, and then an anisite wall on both sides of the third block like that. From this, we're going to go and then place down a red or a red stone repeater to both sides like so. And in the middle space, we're going to place down a skeleton skull like that. After that, we're going to place down a stone slab here in the middle, followed by a lever on both sides here with the lever flicked out to both sides. And then we want to place down a skeleton skull here to both sides. After that, uh, another stone block right here, and a side wall to both sides, and a stone brick block here in the middle, followed by a skeleton skull, skull at a slight angle to both sides like that. After that's done, we're going to place down another and a side wall Going back, a stone brick block. Come up both sides of the stone brick block, we're gonna place down a skeleton skull. Come off the stone brick block, we're gonna place down a dark dark oak fence gate, and then come off the two skeleton skulls, we're gonna place down a end rod to both sides. After that, uh, we wanna go and then grab ourselves our redstone comparators, and we're gonna place down redstone comparators facing each other on top of these two stone brick full blocks, just like that. We're gonna go and then uh, place down a redstone repeater on the very end here, just like that. And that will pretty much finish that off right there. Uh, also, we're gonna go ahead and basically knock out the crane real quick, just so we don't have to worry about it in the future layers. So we're just gonna go ahead and basically build the entire crane here. Anyways, on top of this anvil, we're gonna place down a stone brick stair, followed by a skeleton skull come off the front of it. We then wanna place down a dark oak wood fence gate, or fence post that comes up from the stone brick upside down stair. We're going to then place down a stone brick upside down stair coming off that fence post going forward. And going up from the fence post, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. After that, going up from the stair, we're going to go up and out at an angle like this. Followed by a stone brick top slab, a skeleton skull, and we're going to drop down with from the, or from the skeleton skull with a iron bar like that. After that, uh, we want to then place down a dark oak wood sign here on both sides of the stone brick upside down stair. And then from this, we're just going to go ahead and place down a barrier block here in the center, a stone button to both sides here, skeleton skull on top here, and then a lever on top of the stone brick top side, flick backwards, just like that. And that will finish off that crane there, and we do not have to worry about it for the rest of the tutorial. Anyways, that's all we got here for layer number five, or layer number six for the build, and as you can see, we are uh, definitely getting places, so 
definitely get in there and the next few layers we're going to definitely start to speed by as we have the majority of the build done anyways with that let's move into our next layer layer number seven all right guys moving into our next layer we have layer number seven for layer seven to go ahead and get started with here we're going to be going ahead and placing down a uh stone brick slab here on top of the stone block and then we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a end rod and we're going to place down an end rod here to both sides of the stone brick slab with a dark liquid side coming off of it after that we're going to go ahead and then take our stone blocks we're going to place down one and two stone blocks and we're also going to place down a stone brick or a stone upside down stair here to both sides like this and then a skeleton skull come off those upside down stairs from that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a nether stone upside down stair to both sides. And from that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone brick slab again to both sides and a dark oak wood sign coming off the side here of that stone brick slab. Also, going back from the stone brick slab, we're going to place down an end rod there to both sides. Now, for the space back here, we're going to place down a andesite wall and we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone top slab to both sides and a dark oak wood sign like that coming off those top slabs once that's done uh, we're going to place down one and two stone full blocks and we're going to take our iron trap our iron trap doors and we're going to place down one and two one and two iron trap doors and one and two item frames with snowballs in those item frames and same thing over here as well just like that once uh that's complete there uh we want to go ahead and then place down a redstone repeater here in the middle just like that and one thing also is to make sure your repeaters aren't turned on it's gonna look really weird so uh, basically whatever direction you're kind of facing the lever will face the opposite direction so like for example if I place down the lever over here I need to flick it to basically get to stick out to the side there well over here if I place it that way the lever will stick out to the side so just a little tip there for you guys um, to make sure that the levers here are like that not all weird or anything like that. Anyways, once that's done, we're gonna go and then place down a stone uh, block on top of this one right here. Skeleton skulls around the sides here, and then come off the back. We're gonna place down a dark grid fence gate like so, and then a redstone comparator on top of this stone brick block. Anyways, with that all complete, that is going to wrap up what we have here for uh, layer number seven for the build. With that, let's move into layer number eight. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 8. For layer 8, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down an anisite wall on top of this stone block here. And then come off it, we're going to place down an item frame and a snowball in the item frame like that for a spotlight. After that, going to both sides here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of those upside down stairs. And we're going to go then place down a row 3 of stone blocks going all the way across. From this, we're going to place down a anisite wall here in the middle. A iron trap door to both sides here and we're going to then place down a dark oak wood sign coming off these iron trap doors a item frame to the side here snowball and same thing over here item frame and snowball after that uh, we want to go and then place down a black concrete block going back a narrow brick slab dark oak wood signs here to both sides of the narrow brick slab and then uh, on the back here we're going to then place down a stone stair which will go on top of this stone block to both sides of the stone stair a end rod coming off the front of the stair a dark oak wood trap door or dark oak wood sign and then a trip bar hook here on the back of the, st the stone st stair anyways that right there is it for layer 8 with that we're going to move into our final layers which are going to basically be layers 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 for the build so with that let's go ahead and move into our final layers layers 9 through 15. Alright guys, moving into our last final layers, we have layers 9 through 15. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be going ahead and going up here to the conning tower. We're going to place down a stone block here in the middle, followed by an inside wall to both sides of that stone block. We then want to take our item frames, and we're going to wrap item frames around the inside walls, and also the uh, stone block here. And we're going to place down black beds, uh, rotated so that the pillars are facing downwards in all the item frames, like so. All the way around like that for the bridge or uh, one of the uh, observation posts here for the conning tower probably not necessarily the bridge uh, but continue onward to go and then place down a stone block here going back and inside wall to both sides and the inside wall here in the center after that going ahead and going up we're gonna place down a stone brick stair a stone slab to both sides and we're gonna go and then take our 
dark root with signs and wrap around the stair and slabs like that we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some end rods and we're going to go ahead and place down end rods coming off this stone slab here at an angle and we're going to do the same thing one more time so again going now we're at an angle after that we're going to place down another stone block here a uh, stone brick stair to both sides here uh, a dark oak wood sign to both sides in the middle here we're going to then place down a stone stair again Followed by a skeleton skull to both sides, and then we're going to take our end rods and do something very similar. So, end rod coming off the skeleton skulls, go ahead and angle, place down a second one like that, and same thing over here as well, like that. After that's complete, we're going to then take our barrier blocks and we want to go ahead and place down a row of three one, two, three, four, and actually five barrier blocks across. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of stone buttons on the middle three blocks. So one, two, three, just like that. Now, once that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and then take our uh, barrier blocks and we're going to go one and two back, one and two. And on the side here, we're going to place down two stone buttons. We want to go ahead and then go up from these barrier blocks. So we're going to go up, we're going to go back one, two, up one, two, like so. And we're going to place down stone buttons along the sides here of these two barrier blocks. So just like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a, uh, a end rod, which is going to be coming off of the side here like so. And same thing over here. So just like that. And then we want to go ahead and go from this end rod. We're going to go over, place down another end rod. And same thing over here. Now for the back uh, mass here, real simple, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak grid, or sorry, another brick fence post, we're going to go ahead and go up two fence posts, followed by a skeleton skull on the top here. We then want to go ahead and go off the skeleton skull crouch and place down a skeleton skull like so. Going off both sides of the skeleton skull, we're going to place down a end rod, and then going up from the skeleton skull, we're going to place down one and two end rods up like that. And that will kind of complete our rigging here and our rear mass for the ship. Going ahead and go to the top conning tower here, or the front conning tower, to go ahead and kind of finish it off. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone block on the middle space here. We're going to go ahead and take our skeleton skulls, wrap around the three sides. And we also want to place down a dark oak wood fence gate, coming off this stone block toward the front, and have the fence gate opened up toward the block. On top here, we're going to place down a stone stair, and then to both sides of the stone stair, we're going to place down a end rod. On the front of the stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood or a dark wood sign and then we're also going to place down a tripwire hook here on the back of the stair and then lastly for the top here we're going to place down two iron bar or end rods going up and then a iron bar on the very top here to go ahead and finish it off anyways once you have that all complete that is going to complete layers 9 through 15 for the uh ship that we have in front of us and with that we'll complete the tutorial for the french battleship dunkirk Hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use if you do end up using this as I do. I so you guys give me proper credit for it. This being anything from the side of the build, to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use whatever projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. And that, um, again, big special thanks to Patreon supporter Trenchfighter8 for making this tutorial possible. And again, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. And that, uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your 204, and I'll see you guys next time.